Once you have set up the size and dimensions of your label, you can start designing it. You can add boxes, lines, text, barcodes, and pictures to your label using the drag and drop method. All of these objects can be moved, resized, and customized as needed. I'm going to create an address label that has our company's logo, our street address, and a postal barcode. First I want to adjust the layout of the label to reflect the size of the address label I'll be using. So I'll go to the Design tab, I'll click on Layout, and when the screen appears I'll choose the correct size for my label project. So for this project I'll choose Avery Inkjet, and I'm going to use the 8160 address labels for this project. I'll click Done, and you'll see the size of my label reflect those changes. Okay, now let's first start with the picture. I'll drag and drop the picture icon into the label. I'll select what picture I would like to bring in. And notice that when I brought this picture in, it resized the picture to fit a square box. I can either manually resize my picture, or in the Properties box on the right, under the Format tab, I can choose Original Size and the picture will adjust to fit the object's original size. Now for this label, I actually want to go back to the resize option, and I'm going to shrink it down to fit the size I want. I'm using my mouse or arrow keys to place the picture where I would like it on the label. Alright, next I'll bring in a text field that will show our mailing address. I'll drag and drop the icon, just like I did with the picture, and then I'll enter our address into the content field. 